Hi guys, welcome back to Red Dog Gaming, where we are continuing our let's play as Parthia. Sorry, um, I apologise. I don't know where that came from and why that happened, but it's Parthia. Oh, hello. Who are you? You're you're Carthage, or you are my allies. I don't remember doing that, but. Good on you, Carthage, for still being alive. That's all I can say. Uh, look at this. Huge city. Carthage is a huge city. Hey, Carthage, do you want Carthage back? I mean, you can't have it. I've also just realized that I didn't start the last episode with this view, which I always do. I'm sorry about that. Uh, but yeah, uh, we've destroyed the Brutii. The bastards. Um, we're about to destroy Macedon. Uh, Dacia is not going to be long behind and Rome's not going to be long behind that Scipii are going to be the hardest I believe unless the Julii have all of this I mean as I said we're getting to the end stage now the end uh, um, the end of the campaign uh, I, do we have the victory completions already? probably not because we haven't got that letter that, um, um, that notification but we won't be far off. I, we've probably got enough settlements looking at this. We have the whole east side of the map. Um, I believe there's 99 settlements. Well, I could be wrong. Uh, but as I say, once I've taken over Italia, Italia proper, and Sicily, I'd class that as Rome being destroyed, to be honest. Even if the Scipii do still exist out here and the Julii up here. This is not Roman, Roman territory, if you know what I mean. Um... Yeah, we've got a bit of building to do. We are at the end of the turn and we just played in the last episode. So, Thraspa. We should take the Spice Road. Don't know why, but we will. Cotias. Um, take the Spice Road. Palmyra, we upgraded. Let's get some walls, just because it looks cool. Tanias. We're at the point now where <laughs> a cursory scroll over the map and seeing wooden walls doesn't look as good as a cursory scroll and seeing these walls, stone walls. So we'll build them. We have just so much money. Like when we get to the last, um, the last like final final episode, I believe we'll just. I'll show you. I'll use my. I'll use a diplomat. I'll recruit a diplomat. I'll show you how much territory we could buy <laughs> with this money we have. Um, Thermom roads. So we generally, the AI would just accept us just buying all their territory. Byzantium. The city of dreams. The city of world's desire. Not so much anymore. Not, not so much anymore. Not, not now in the present. I mean, not so much now that we've taken it. Um, I mean, it's not even called Byzantium in the present anymore. But, um... I'd love to go, to be honest. I'd absolutely love to go, but I have not gone there, unfortunately. Yeah, we're all good here. Tarentum, we're getting our Onaga. Masana, I'm fine with keeping on doing that. I, yeah, don't want to fight you, bro. Why don't you just lay down your arms, Namidia? Lay down your arms. Um, where's this ship? We've got to be careful because we have been attacked by quite a large fleet. I wonder whether we can retrain. Oh, yes, we can. We might be able to beat them back if we retrain them. Um, you guys get in here as well and retrain them. We might be able to defeat that rebel fleet if we um, join up our forces. Why can't we? We've already got enough merchants. Generally because the game just gives us merchants. I haven't been over here for so long. Look at the amount of rebel merchants there are. Oh, that's my merchant. He's been making no money though. Trading silk. Oh yeah, so apparently merchants work best if you send them far away from your lands. But <laughs> there's nowhere that's that far away from our lands anymore. That's a problem. But yeah, we'll end the turn. See? There's a lot of merchants up in Dacia. I'm guessing that's because there's a couple of gold mines. Wow, that was a quick end turn. Whoa! Espanol has died. Uh, and that wasn't us. 
So I don't know who's done that, but well done. Maybe Skippy Eye. Skippy Eye might be that powerful, but it seems like Carthage still owns that over there. Nicomedia, welcome to the party. I don't want to. Uh, Nicomedia. I don't want to. Yeah, there we are. I was a bit, bit confused for a second there, but yeah, cool. Faction destroyed Spain. I, I want to know who did that. Macedon, you are pathetic. Generally pathetic. You are the worst faction in the game right now. They've made clear ga glass. Well done. It's pretty mad that before like they had glass but they didn't have clear glass. So like what what did they use it for? Just to get light in, I guess? Fair enough. Yeah, big bigger walls. We've gone one level up. Let's go one level even higher than that. Tarsus and Kira. Let's do that. Uh, Sardis. Yep. Um, no. Let's get that for when we become a huge city and we can build the better armor. I mean, the campaign will probably be finished by then. So, <laughs> planning for a future that doesn't exist. It's so sad. Kaidonia. There we are. Sparta. Awesome temple of Zoroaster, please. Just temples. Temples everywhere. We love Zoroaster. I mean, I'm not even pronouncing that right. I've never even really read it. I'm just cursory glance over it. Uh, no, I'm not. I've literally been pronouncing it wrong this whole time. Zoroaster. Not Zoroaster. Zoroaster. I wonder how it's actually pronounced in Persian. Yes, the almighty onagers are done. Hello, Skippy Eye. You think you're hard because you have an actual reasonably large army out in Carthage, which we're spying on. Um, yeah, we didn't lose any troops by that. Um, but I can tell you right now, you're not. You're not hard, my friends. You are not hard. Uh, 35%. It's not, not much, is it? Oh, hello, assassin. You're trying to assassinate my... Oh, we got two assassins. Can I assassinate my bro, our toasties? Our toasties. His name is our toasties. What the hell? That's class. He loves toasties. I hope so. I mean, you wouldn't be able to make a toasty in these times, but fair enough to the man. He says it in his name. He loves toasties. Yeah, these we're recruiting troops over here, but it's not going to happen, is it, bros? Uh, ooh, you want to go that way? That's weird. This army is an absolute chongus of an army. It should absolutely smash these guys to pieces. Thing is, as well, they won't all group into four because they'll stand and fight. They believe that they can win. I haven't even fought any pre post Marium troops yet, which is very sad. This will be because they have a load of agents here, won't it? Yeah, two spies. Bastards. Um, can I get assassins here? Yes. The assassin spam is real. And it, it will happen. Just so you know, guys. This faction leader guy can't even... F oh, he can fit in the settlement. Well, we are not going to be assaulting that. So oh, wait. What did we... Oh, we were going to get some new infantry. What have I done? Well, these guys can't even move now. That's very sad. Ah, that's annoying. I don't want to do it that way. Get in there. We'll retrain all the bros. Pajama boys, let's go. Fantastic. Just so they get that silver weapon upgrade. Um, we should probably sally out of... Oh, they left. Hello, Germania. Please. Uh, stop being a prick for one second, would you? I know it's hard for you. I know it's very hard for you, but you're never going to see the likes of what is coming towards you. You will have never seen anything like this. These great elephants. Um, you can probably come down here in case for when we're ready for that other... Oh, can't get through. When that other Sardis army is ready to move. 
Uh, is one army up there enough? I, th I believe so, because we've still got this army to come into Dacia, and they can go north if need be. Not that we really want to, it's, it's trash. Trash territory. Sorry, Ger sorry, actual real-life Germans, but I'm British, and this also is absolute trash territory in this game. In this game, mind you. Um, Apollonia. Oh. I forgot about you. you comp I genuinely completely forgot about you. Uh, let's go and retrain you across the pond. See what mercenaries I have available across there as well. Drop you up at Croton. Better settlement for you to jump into. Got better recruitment options. Also have the assassin spam though. Um, don't really have any infantry that I'm interested in. Do we have any infantry mercenaries? Okay. Let's go for Sam Knights. Sam Knights, the Romans have taken your land. It is time for you to pounce back. Pay them back for everything they have done. Get rid of those rebel fleets. They're fucking annoying. Right, Apollonia, get your little people. Uh, I think that's the end of this turn, surely. I don't know. I don't think there's any anything else. Okay. Yeah, lots, lots of inactive stuff. Yes, yeah, Spy, you're in the right place. Everyone else. Didn't think, don't think there was anything Have else. Mercy. Tinker Tate just sort of just spy. They want <laughs> what sort of lunatic land do they live in? Like, I don't time. understand that. Why does the AI think that it's well harder than it is? You're not as hard as you think you are, bro. Okay. Potentially we win this. Interesting. We're back to uh, playing battles from the start of the campaign. One unit versus three. Makes a nice change from 20 units versus 40 and still smashing them. We're not really going to have to do much intense micro here. I could charge those archers to start with. Not that that's going to make too much difference. I'd rather get out of range of the archers so we're not getting shot by them. They want to. Yeah, they're, they're being clever. Well done, AI. I'm going to just keep going in and out of range of the archers, of the, uh, get up on the hill, we should be doing, we should do quite well. They've attacked me, so they have to come to me, which is always good, should be firing. When their archers stop, we know they're going to fire, so keep firing until they do stop. Or firing into the front of these guys, which is not ideal. Kill that general guy, please. Yeah. Keep going. It's going to be hard to beat them in melee, so hopefully we've thinned them enough by that point. I mean, potentially we'll look at uh, routing these guys. Let's go for that. Yeah, that might make everyone else route, actually. Should do. Use the rest of the ammo. We lost a few troops there. get into them even though they are spearmen we've got more cavalry get into them yep let's go let's go oof oof we took a ah well we lost oh well because we routed because of our morale so shit with those troops like really really shit Hmm. Nice one. We are, yeah. What's in there? Trash. What do we have? It's two units of archers, though. I, hmm. I want to see these onagers in action. It's assassin central over here as well. The only reason why I want assassins. Oh, did these guys... We ended, did we, end, we ended the turn. Oh, that was the end of the turn. Yeah. We'll do that in a second. Um, could retrain 
these guys again. All you go boys retrained. Yes, I believe so. Um, get in there then. Trentum's happy now. That's probably because they have rid of the agents. Yes. Now let's uh, see what we can do. Kill you, please. Um, okay. Kill you. Yes. 31%. Hey, you did it. Well done. That much should make you better, right? A storm. Germania is besieging us again. No worries. Skilled courtesan. Ooh, interesting. Cutthroat. Yeah, he has got better. How good are you now? Six. Woo! You shall be extinguished. Feel that diplomat then, bro. That six is good. You don't normally get uh, assassins up very much because they normally die very, very easily. Uh, minus one. Plus one public health. Are you a general? Are you are a general. Uh, oh, no, you're not. You're just an anti op. That's fine. Uh, we'll deal with that construction report. Deal with it now. We might as well. And we are just going very quick with the construction, guys. If you're looking at this to see what to construct endgame, it really doesn't matter when you've got that much money. Like, unless you get some serious pressure from an outside nation that might cause you to start losing money, but still, still making 67,000 a turn. Uh, I'm generally just going for law and happiness to keep these. Because if one of these rebels, like, it's just going to be a pain to deal with them. On top of that, the law me means that you make more money because you're reducing your corruption. Um, temples are very good for that, uh, for most nations. Some nations have shite temples. Um, uh, I generally go for law temples in nearly every single place. Um apart from places I know are going to be recruitment centers. So, for example, I know Sardis is going to be a recruitment center. But So if I didn't have, a, if I had another temple that added morale or, you know, armor benefits, I would go for that. Um, but we don't. We just have one temple in this, in this, uh, with this nation. So we just go for that. We just go for that one temple. Uh, Thebes is very unhappy and there's not much we can do about that. Go for that then. That doesn't seem to add much more happiness, really. That's all I We don't want that. It's not population growth as well. Of course, is always good, especially early game. Pop, pop growth and money early game are brilliant, um, and farms are incredible for that. But late game, like you, you're going to be expanding so quickly, you're not going to be waiting for any of these places to upgrade, really. Especially when you get out into the sticks, like up here, when there's small towns and that. If you start up there, of course you want to go for pop growth. Um, but these these small places end game, unless you play for another hundred turns, they're not going to get upgraded. Especially when you're exterminating them to keep them happy. Well, it doesn't keep them happy. It makes them happy by killing them all, which is horrible, really, when you think about it in context. But no oh well. Yeah, they are starting to bring troops onto these ships. I wonder whether we should send the big boy navy out. Mm, you're a bit b battered, aren't you? I think we retrain them and see whether we can intercept that navy. So attacking there, you. Okay, the, the, the faction leaders oh, decided to fuck off, really. Um, get some rams. It's just wooden walls, so we don't need to worry. Oh yeah, I was going to get some more infantry. Oh, we don't have any infantry. That's so annoying. <laughs> ah, what have I done? Yeah, well, not all these guys are retrained just yet. There we are. Perfect. Perfect. Oh, we also need an extra one. So, let's get them. They won't have armor, but they'll have weapons, which is better, actually. Right. We need to sally out here, and then we need to take Capua. Oh, Jesus, the amount of screeching women. That's a silly amount of screeching women. Their morale will be sky high, but those screeching women are so easy to kill. Weird unit, really. I 
think, like, the Druids make sense. But there's a small number of them, but they are a very strong unit in itself. The Screeching Women, on the other hand, are not strong in melee. Like, let's have a look. Oh, wait, no, they are. 12 melee attack, but their defense is 1, so they... They can do a little bit of damage, but they are just, they just die so easily. So, I don't know. Take you guys over here. They always like to seem to go right, but I guess they go the opposite direction to what uh, I send my horse archers, really. Oh, wait. It's one of these is barbarian cavalry. Barbars, let's go. Send you guys to the back. Why is the group you up? So nice having this UI. Oh, we do have an, a warlord here. I didn't even realise. It's another one where even if if we just thin them down halfway, I'm happy. We can withdraw. They won't be able to assault and win if the, if we whittle them down by halfway. These Eastern infantry are trash, but they've got 11 defence. It's not bad actually. Never really thought about that. They are reasonably okay for holding the line. It's just if you can get their morale to stay there. They will break any morale shock. Generally any morale shock. I don't want us to be shooting these screeching women, really. I want to shoot that warlord. If we can. Uh, these guys, we can go and wreak, wreak some havoc upon the... Uh, Screeching women, really. Let's go. Get in there. Barbarian warlords come in. It's a nice little ridge, isn't it? We can stand over here. In Napoleon Total War, this would be a great little ridge. You could, like, hide behind it here. And also send your troops up when you want to shoot them. Get up there if we can. Yeah, they're just going to die. That is the problem with them, like... Whatever they do for morale, they're... Yeah, they're so weak. Cavalry charge will just melt them. Let's watch this. Oh, so we lost a couple of troops actually. It's embarrassing, but they've broken already. Oh, I thought our, the general was attacking our troops. Then killed him yet? Or how many we've killed? <laughs> like none. Like one guy. That's trash. Come on, guys. Oh, who are you? More screeching women. See, screeching women attacking us is bad. Us charging them, very good. Very, very powerful. Our barbarian, these barbarian cavalry are poor, to say the least. Like, four morale. A good melee attack, generally. And, and okay charge. Seven charge is nothing to scoff at. But three armor is absolute trash. Whoopsie. Get out of the way of those axemen, they will shred us in melee without a charge. See, even though we've lost a lot of these guys, they should still break this screeching women. I lost a couple of troops in that attack. See, they've gone back to being steady now because they've killed so many of my troops. Uh, speed it up. Don't need to be fighting these, these battles micro intensively anymore. Like I've said in the last episode, but I'm not. Oh, there's the uh, general actually. Go on, if he charges into the city, that would be excellent for us. Um, yeah, we have no archers in the city. I mean, you can you can run around that way. That'd be great. Lead him on a wild goose chase. Let's put you on that actually. Still be shooting him, so he should be getting shot by the towers, which is great. Is he being shot by the towers? Don't know. Who are you running from? There is no one there. Oh wait, no, there is. <laughs> They're just behind the UI. How do I get rid of that? Oh, it's because it's a group. Yeah, it's because it's a group. Uh, keep going. Tails is on 20. I thought he would be getting shot more. He'd be dying more, but no, I guess not. 
that barbarian cavalry die, that's not really too bad. Go on, guys, shoot the rest of your ammo and we'll, we'll retreat. We've killed half of you. Don't need to kill more. I think they'll withdraw from this fight if they're about even because they it's a it's a um, siege battle. And the AI doesn't like their odds in a siege battle. Okay, just one guy left with ammo. You guys get in. Get in. You guys come and shoot some more. We have lost 8%, but it's all the barbarian cavalry, isn't it? So, oh, we're getting shot actually. They have archers. Didn't even look at that. So, like the screeching women, the druids are good in concept because they're. Troops that buff the morale of really, really poor morale armies um, with the Germans, the Bretons, um, the Gauls. All those guys have really, really bad morale in general. So by buffing them, they're kind of adding that in uh, just for a bit of a buff. Come on, Dacia, what are you doing, you clown? Really, really clownish behavior, I'm not going to lie. But let's watch these onagers in action. I'm really excited for this. I'm not going to lie. I don't care about you, bro. How do you feel, Skippy Eye, losing your capital? And you've got a load of troops stuck um, on the other side of the Mediterranean over in uh, Tunisia. Even at Carthage. Which... Uh, Is pretty funny. Yeah, well, we are doing doing a lot, enjoying it. Why does it keep giving us this elephant message? We have the unreal elephants. I thought he said tutti frutti then. <laughs> Onagers. Oh. <laughs> oh. Sorry, getting very excited there by the prospect of shooting into the air, but don't think that's gonna be an option. And I also believe we'd get shot by the towers if we were there. Uh, but here is very likely gonna be the best place we wanna be shooting. I wanna shoot that wall and that wall and any troops to get you closer. I want to shoot any troops that come around that square there. Um, you guys, of course. Why? I don't understand this. Like, You all have the same amount of troops. Okay. Could we... Yeah, like, how are there some of them that have a shorter... I know, it's weird. It's very weird way of doing the formations there. Elephant tools. Hmm, who are you? Cataphrats. I mean, we haven't even used you, really, I'd say. Yeah, shoot there. <laughs> the great onagers of Parthia. So, the thinking behind this is that we have got to Italy, gone through Macedon, and we have, we have found out this new way of destroying walls without having to scale them. Which is ideal for us because we don't want to have to scale walls when we're all on horseback imagine if these guys were dismountable like in napoleon hmm. i was just wondering then whether they actually were no they're not but it would be funny imagine all these archers just running along do you know what we, we can probably hit them from I actually no 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 we don't want to shoot them from there because the onager is actually going to destroy that whole unit here <laughs> no, we need to speed it up the great onagers of Parthia what we are known for I don't know why he's not moving his unit what's he trying to now oh look at that 
when the Onigas have destroyed that wall, we'll just have free reign to shoot at them. And if they want to come out, we'll just shoot them again. Shoot them. And put it on flaming shot, will you? Just because I f I'll be able to see it. Uh, you guys come here, really? You're par poor at firing, aren't you? You're very low accuracy. Oh, that was a good shot, though. Uh, oh, no, no, no. You can actually do with shooting these guys. Oh, good shot. If they even want to come close, we'll just shoot them to pieces. One issue here is we're going to get shot by the walls. If we go here, I think we'll be able to shoot most of them. Wow, this is good. This is fun! Shooting them to death. Uh, get closer so we can actually shoot some proper units. Uh, go here, maybe. We'll get shot by the walls, but I'm not bothered by that. Like, <laughs> it's just brutal. We've used a lot of ammo, though, for not much reward, really. Um, the March of the Elephants again. This is, like, at this point, the campaign is not about min-maxing. It's about having fun, right? So, let's go. Let's go. The Charge of the Elephants once again. Like, in real life, did they do this? Did they build, like, things on the back of elephants and stand on the back? That seems highly, highly dangerous. I mean, it is warfare. Medieval. <laughs> not medieval. Ancient warfare. So, I mean, it is highly dangerous. That is the whole point of it. But, it seems like more of a hindrance, honestly. I can understand the guy sat on the back of it and riding it into battle. But, the other stuff seems very much more of a hindrance. Oh, why is there two of them? Oh, yeah. oh they've, they've already lost that. Oh, yeah, we're getting shot by walls. By the, ele the elephants are getting shot by the walls. So, Hopefully we recover them. I don't know whether we will though. We'll kill this prink phase. The one thing, the one issue is if they get their javelins off, we're screwed. There's a lot of towers around here, so we get shot a lot, but oh well. Uh, one unit. Yeah, they're just they're just routing already. <laughs> Come on, guys, we need to get away from the walls. Come on, quick, quick, quick. Before we lose you, your hit, hit points are going to get really damaged by this. Quick, come on. Need you to charge. I know it's hard for you to script inside the city. Go, go, go. Go. Go, my pretties. Go. No, don't let them get the javelins off. They will ruin us. If they go berserk as well, that, that's going to really, really screw us over. Okay, one of them's just done a really, really good charge. Oh my god, guys, you are poor. Come on, you don't like cities, do you? And you are elephants, so there's no real surprise with that. Do you remember them against the Bellate Gladiators? They were shocking, but then again, they did have two hit points, those guys, so. Come on, my pretties! Let's go. You are going to die here, actually, a few of you. Let's go, let's go. They should be good against mounts. Oof, that Roman general's getting absolutely... Oh, he just got... That's, is that the faction leader? Wow, wow, wow. Elephantals. Um, there seems to be one more unit. Uh, we'll get them lined up. Get lined up, my friends. The charge, here it comes! Let's go! Nope, that's not what I wanted to do. I've forgotten the button on this game for uh, going behind the unit. Is it like scroll lock or something? No. Wow. Wow. Hope we don't really oh no, they're showing jab javelins now, which is not ideal. Yeah, I mean, they're wavering, but they can't route. 
Well, I want to kind of withdraw them and then charge them in again, but the problem with that is... If then none of them die, that's that's amazing. Well done, guys. Look at them, charging after him! Fantastic, well done, boys. We lost 51. What? Who? Oh, just a general smattering from the... Um, of the cavalry from the uh, towers none of the elephants though which is surprising but amazing and also thank you Omegas that was class better than trying to scale walls against them anyway goodbye Kapua is deed yep now we are one step away from Rome also Mr. Assassin uh, can you do it, please? It's finding it hard to do the mission. Why? Why is he not be able to do this? I don't get it. Have you already done a mission this time, or what? Uh, what are you? Whoa! Upgrade oh, armor. Uh, yes, please. We'll keep that. We'll also get a peasant. Uh, only upgrades once, though. They don't have an armor, do you not? You fools! You have. See, this is why I like the um, Skippy Eye because of this uh, temple to Vulcan. Although, do they in the remastered have all the different temples available to them? I think they might do. Which is excellent. Uh, excellent because I don't think that. Oh, surely not. Um, Salona. We can't actually assault that. Okay, one more turn. These guys are going to be done. Need to kill them. We've sallied out from here already. Uh, they don't have anything built yet. How are we doing over here? Should probably attack that as well. Five turns. Yeah, it's, five turns is too long. Don't mind waiting five turns for for one with uh, big walls, but not Lepsis Magna. Lepsis Magna is shite. Oh yeah, we can't assault that. Uh, right. Let's go then. We do kind of want to be cautious with this army, really, though, because it's another one of those with um, that's going to be fighting the old Scipii in the north, which uh, Scipii are, they have a lot of armies, <laughs> to be honest. Hmm. Well, 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 well. This is fun. This is fun. This is really fun. Get there. Get there. Two guys with rams. One there. One there. You guys get there. You guys get here if you can. I think we'll be able to do this with all our, with our general, to be honest. But we'll see. Shooting those guys, we are going to get shot a little bit, but it's worth it. They should get absolutely shredded. Fantastic. Mm, there we are. Uh, you guys shouldn't be getting shot over here, so there we are. That's nice. They have got that general bodyguard. It's quite a big general bodyguard as well, which, I mean, if we stand here, should be able to shoot. I think my general bodyguard will be better though, unless it's Eastern. So, so many archers. I hope that bodyguard comes over. Get there. Yeah, we'll just stand in that big blob. You guys come here. God, you have such low range, actually. Uh, don't have you on skirmish mode. Bang. There we go. It's going to break. Boom. Fool. <laughs> I love that. I generally, I love the uh, commentary in this game. There's, there's an era of, there's an element of comedy to it. That's just fucking excellent. These guys are just going to die. 
Wow. Okay. Yeah, 18. Cool. On uh, six times speed. <laughs> Wow, wow, wow. Well. <laughs> Glorious victory. Exterminate. As usual, we are, we are basically Genghis Khan level of extermination at this point. Temple of Baal. Goodbye. Anyone? Oh, we can retrain these boys. Would be quicker if we actually merged them and that, but oh, I don't even know. I don't know. M. Yeah, there we are. Now we can retrain them all in one go, which is a lot better. See, look at all those armies. Uh, hmm, I want you to go and deal with them. You've moved. You've taken Capua. It's so confusing now with the amount of armies we have. You're retraining still. You can't take Salona. And, uh, can you move, though, yet? No. Right, you need to fight this Dacian army. It's going to be easy. Oh, wow. They're not going to know what's hit them. <laughs> Poor Dacian. Oh, I also didn't check here whether Germania had moved. Hmm. I don't know. Uh, I think I'd sell it out this turn, though. It's so That's the thing with it now, because we've got so many armies and there's so many battles. It's so confusing, like, what turn you're on. I think also, after this battle, which will probably be the last battle of the episode... We'll take a look at our faction ranking. It's going to be astronomical, but we'll have a look anyway. See how we are against say this. Skippy Eye look like probably the second strongest faction. Germania will... Germania on the thing... Not the thing, whatever it's called. The uh, faction ranking scroll, whatever you want to call it. Probably will look reasonably strong, but they, I, I promise you they're not. It's Germania. Uh, the charge of the elephants once again. We're going to use some ammo and then we'll charge in the elephants. They'll all break. <laughs> like generally. <laughs> You've got to remember these guys, they don't know what elephants are. We can also use them as horse archers. Elephant archers. They say they get spooked by spearmen, but I guess we'll put that to the test, shall we? You don't need to be that close actually I'll keep them on uh, run away because they're impetuous they want to fight oh they are getting shredded no experience for these boys yet experience for the ones without armor which is interesting but they are the ones who are damaged um you want to charge me that's fine but I think you would be quite dumb to do that uh, I'll get a charge of the elephants. Let's go. Let's watch this. They should get a good charge off now. Yeah, that should be a really good charge. If anything, we're more likely for our guys to, uh, to kill our own elephants than for them to kill any of them. Or reduce the hit points so far in the elephants that they, they die. Just charge that wall band. You're gonna love it. You're gonna love this, boys. Ah! Imagine, imagine though being one of these guys. You're wearing your pajamas. You've just got up. Someone says, "Look, there's an army of Easterlings on the horizon. They have an army of ho men on horses who fire arrows at you while they're riding. On top of that, though, they have this thing called elephants. I've never seen them before." Are you a Stanley Mercenaries actually might do some damage, so it's one on it. Yeah, look at that. I'm gonna probably get you out there now. You have lost a couple of elephants, it looks like. Or were they already on 24? I can't remember. I guess we'll see at the end. Yeah, you boys come back this way. Uh, they're all breaking. <laughs> What about the Vistanes? Did they run or what? I, I don't know. I don't even see them. Poor guys, generally. Look at them. <laughs> Look at them running. Yeah, that. What? Why would you route though? Just 
wavering. It doesn't tell you why they're routing. Unlike Medieval 2. Uh, it'd be funny if we killed some of our own troops with the, the elephants. The elephants can do the pursuit. They need some fitness. They're all big chonkers. Come on, boys. Look at them go. Put on a lot of weight because they've just been winning so many battles. Yeah, we've done it. Cool. Ah! <laughs> oh, Dacia. Oh, one casualty. Why doesn't it say... Oh, it was friendly fire. Yeah, the elephant's doing bits. Well done, boys. Fantastic. It's... Ah. I just can't. We're just so OP right now. It's ridiculous, man. Victory! We are the equivalent. I can't even think of an equivalent of how OP we are. Like, we are literally ridiculously OP right now. Uh, you boys, can you sally out? No, we've already done that. I think they will leave next turn. I don't think they'll think they have got enough. Make sure I've moved you. Yeah. yeah. We were also sending someone over to intercept them. I really want you to be trained, but it's going to be. Oh my god, this turn has taken forever of all the battles. But yeah, I think that's going to be it for today, guys. So thank you very much for watching. As usual, please do like, subscribe, all that good stuff. It helps out a great deal. Comment as well if you are enjoying the series. Thank you very much, guys, and I'll see you again on the next episode.